Hello everyone. We had a great year in 2018, and I thought it would be at the end of the year, you know, appropriate to reflect in everything that we have done together as an industry and here at Qualcomm uh, in 2018. I want to start by, of course, talking about 5G. Uh, it's been the year that we focus relentless in getting X50, you know, developed and ready for commercializing 5G in the beginning of 2019. It's been a year of trials. X50 has been in every single operator uh, trial in year of uh, infrastructure development and interoperability tasks between our modem and all of the industry infrastructure vendors in a year of preparing for the many launches that we have just few months uh, into 2019 as we're gonna get 5G smartphones focused on mobility since day one uh, in the hand of consumers in, in many of the markets that announced those plans. So it's been a great year for 5G and to bring the 5G ecosystem to life with an acceleration of more than one year on its original timeline. It's a lot that's been accomplished in 5G in 2018. But then we stop there. In mobile, we also saw with the hard work of our engineers, 855, which is the leading platform for AI processing. In a mobile device, we know that AI is moving to the edge and it's going to be the right platform that will be combined with the 5G modems for 5G smartphones. But because mobile is going into everything, it was a year that we introduced just a couple weeks ago, uh, through a lot of work throughout the year, we introduced our first extreme Snapdragon, a purposely built Snapdragon for PCs. We know what the end game is. It's going to be a 5G connected PC, and it's going to be a PC experience that is driven by smartphone users, focused on mobile, in a PC based on a mobile SoC. And that's where we're going. Beyond mobile, we've been working uh, in all of the other industries that are part of this uh, transformation by cellular. And it's been a great year for Qualcomm too. In automotive, we put Qualcomm on the map. We are now established semiconductor supplier in automotive. The transformation of connected cars with telematics in, in all of the different new models. And the transformation of the digital cockpit infotainment, the dashboard, rear seat entertainment, all running on Snapdragon. Uh, and, you know, it's a $5 billion backlog now for the automotive business in semiconductor, clearly places Qualcomm now as a mainstream supplier of the automotive. And I think that's the beginning of our journey into that industry. On Wi-Fi and networking, it's been the transition to Wi-Fi 6. We maintain our position in retail in enterprise is both number one, but exciting in, in 18 is really now the carrier segment, uh, where we're starting to displace the incumbent as the carriers understand the last mile data is wireless. So it doesn't matter, even if you're a wireline carrier, you're really designing a wireless Wi-Fi network, Wi-Fi comes first, and that's where the best technology is winning. On IoT, it was a lot of work uh, on connected cameras, watches, you know, speakers. And what we like to report is 9,000 customers for QCT right now is a 20 times increase in the customer base uh, that we had a few years ago. And, and that show the power of, uh, of mobile being on the right side of ecosystem transformations and opportunity that we have ahead of us. Uh, that's why we've been so excited and we say repeatedly the best years of Qualcomm are really ahead of us and, and, and now the 5G story just put everything together. Beyond chips on licensing, uh, we in 2018 have now more than 20 new 5G licensees and we started to see the momentum to pick it up ahead of 5G uh, launches in 2019. So, you know, compared to many other technology transitions, I will say we're doing very well uh, in, in 5G, probably better uh, than we have seen in the, in the past, in the beginning of a new technology transition. And heading in 2019, uh, we will start to see the foundation of all the transformation that 5G will do in mobile, starting with much better connected apps, 
apps benefiting from artificial intelligence because of the low latency and the cloud computing, moving the cloud closer to you with 100% cloud connectivity, streaming 4K videos as easy as you do with music, and hopefully a transformation in very profound in social networking and social media sharing as you benefit from the ability to have unlimited capacity and speeds, but also to be closer to each other. My personal reflection on in conversation with carriers, with partners, there's a lot of excitement about 5G. We're gonna have a lot of great surprises, positive surprises in CS, and especially at MWC with a lot of announcements. And with the exception of maybe one or two companies, the entire world is talking about 5G. And the opportunities for 5G are boundless. You'll be a platform for innovation in ways that we cannot yet imagine or not yet invented. And we're very proud to be at the center of this revolution. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to follow me on, on Twitter, at Cristiano Amon, and happy holidays.